It's the NBA on ESPN. I'm Stuart Scott bringing you the lowdown. A runner-up for sixth man of the year award last season, Al Harrington is another one of those young players in the league that just seems to play better every time you see him. The sky is the limit for Harrington, who is on the verge of becoming a breakout star in this league. Bucks, Hawks, yo, who wants it? Welcome sports fans, the stage is set here at the Phillips Arena in Atlanta. The Atlanta Hawks will face off against the visiting Bucks here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Hello everybody, I'm Bob Fitzgerald here with Bill Walton and Michelle Tafoya will join us later. Bill, as we take a look at both teams, what do you think will be the keys to victory? Well, basketball is definitely a team, but you can't win it all without great players. Antoine Walker is a supremely talented player. He's one heck of a marksman from long range, especially for a guy playing power forward. When you can force the other team bigs to come out to the perimeter, that really opens things up offensively. On the other side is another impact player. Michael Red is an extraordinarily talented shooting guard. Among a myriad of other strengths, you can't forget how accurate this guy is as a free throw shooter. Definitely not the guy to send to the line. Thanks, Bill. Well, it's time for tip-off. Let's get underway. Get the tip and we're underway. Now let's go down to Michelle Tafoya, who has an update for us. Michelle? Thanks, Fitz. I spoke with the Hawks head coach back by the locker room and his main focus, the inside game. He said that they're aiming to go down low early and often and play very physical basketball. We're going to have a real battle on our hands. Back to you, Fitz. Thanks, Michelle. The skip pass to Red, crosses it over, Red, off target from 15. Tough miss there. It was a good look, yes, but they just couldn't capitalize. The pass to Harrington with the crossover. Let's it go from the wing. Yanked down inside by Santiago. To Red. Passes to Smith, tries the spin move, shoots, buries it. We gotta take a look at this one again, Fitz. It's all about making plays like he just did. The inbound to Delph. They bring it up court. Pass to Jow. Bounce pass to Harrington. The pass to Walker. Crosses it over. 13 feet out, Santiago rips it down inside. Passes to Van Horn, swings it to Red. Passes to the right wing. Red connects from 13 feet out. You can just sense that that J was going in. They say the mid-range game is becoming a lost art in the NBA, but you couldn't tell it from watching that play. Bounces it to Harrington to Walker. Looks to break his man down. Stops and pops. Gets it to fall. Watching a real deal NBA player work to get his offense is always worth a replay or two. Good job. They bring it up court. 2.52 left in the first quarter. Pass to Van Horn. The pass to Red. Passes to Red. Fires from the right block. Rich core. The defense needs to work so much harder to prevent easy shots like that. To Harrington. Pass to Drobniak. Seven on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Automatic. Bucks bring it up court, and they're behind by one. 
The pass to Red. Skips it to Van Horn. Skip pass to Smith. Steps back. Steps back and shoots. Nice yeah, down by Propniak. If he could just be a little more consistent with that mid-range game, he could be so valuable for them. The skip pass to Harrington. The bounce pass to Walker. Takes a step back. Shoots it. Connects. I like to play in real time, Fitz, but I like it even better in replay. I love seeing all the hard work that goes into getting a bucket. They bring it up court. 134 left in the first quarter. Passes to Van Horn. The pass to Red. Sweet rebound by the four-year man out of Yugoslavia. Dumps it to Dell. Gets the lay-in. Nice bucket that time. Looking at it from another angle really lets you appreciate the athleticism of these NBA players. The Bucks work it up court, and we have a five-point game. The pass to Van Horn. Pass to Red. To Red. To stop the run. Rodniak scoops up his fourth rebound so far. That's how you defend a great shooter. Don't give him any breathing room at all. The pass to Jow. Five in the shot clock. Santiago yanked down the rock for the defensive rebound. Passes to Red. Pass to Ford. Van Horn. Swings it to Red. Five on the shot clock. Tries to back down. Shoots with the clock winding down. Planks it off the front of the rim. Forrest Jow made a very solid play. Hung tough right with him there and impeded his mid-range shot. Hands it off to Walker. Got him off in time, but the buzzer beater was missed by Walker. There's the horn, and at the end of one, 11 to six. Smith inbounds to start the second quarter. Pass to Van Horn. Passes to the baseline. The pass picked off by Harrington. The pass to Drobniak. Shoots from the post. Nails it. We can't let that one go by without taking another look. When the opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage. They bring it up court. About four and a half minutes left here in the second. Swings it to Walker. Passes to Drobniak. To Jow. Passes to the baseline. Takes it up. Drops in the pretty layup. The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. The Bucks bring it up court, and they're down 13 to 8. Pass to Ford. Dishes it to Van Horn. Dell cuts it off. He had the right idea. He just made the wrong turn. You gotta put more zip on that ball when you're going inside it. The one-handed dunk was stuffed down by Jow. The pass to Red. Launches beyond the arc. Money! The Hawks advance and they're shooting 63% from the floor. Bounces it to Harrington. To Drobniak. Swings it to Harrington. Dumps it inside. Gets the bucket. The 
Bucks bring it up court and they trail by six. Passes to Red. Pass to Smith. Off balance shot. Drobniak grabs the rebound. Joe Smith was fading to the side a bit on that one, and that's a tough shot to hit. He must have felt the defender right on it. The pass to Delph. Spins. Releases from 15. Sinks it. As we watch this replay, you realize that every player wants those highlight you replace, but it's a team game in the end, and every contribution counts. That's what makes basketball the best sport in the entire world. Pass to four. Feeds it down low. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Good defense. Jack grabs the defensive rebound. Passes to Dell. To Harrington. Pass to Walker. He is looking to do something with it. Drives to the hoop. Impressive move by the nine-year veteran out of Kentucky. The Bucks work it up court, and they'll try to end the run. The pass to Smith. One-on-one. -on -one. The tough shot. Missed. T.J. Ford could have definitely found himself an easier shot than that one. That's one of those where you're stunned if it goes in. Passes to Jack. Swings it to Delt. Seven on the shot clock. Puts it up. Red blocks the ball down from the Raptors for that rebound. This is it inside. Harrington yanked it down inside. Gets the layup. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. To Red. Skips it to Van Horn. Pass to Smith. From the corner. It's ripped down by Santiago. Nice it's job. We need a bunch more. Keep it up. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Drobniak inbound to Delk. The Hawks bring it up court, and they're ahead by 10. Swings it to Harrington. Dumps it down low. Shoots from the post. Breaks off right iron. No okay. good. They can go two for one if they hurry. I hate to say this, but he choked big time on that shot. Eight second differential between the shot and game clock. The three ball was drained by Red. The Hawks bring it up court. They're shooting 61% from the floor. To Jow. Skip pass to Harrington. The pass to Walker. Walker doesn't get enough under it. The clock runs out and we're heading to halftime. The score, 23 to 19. Now that we have a little breather, let's check out the ESPN game track with Bill Walton. Bill, it's all yours. Al Harrington has been absolutely automatic from three-point range in the first half. He's got to be feeling very confident right now, and they do well to keep the ball in his hands as the game continues. Michael Red has been going all out on the other side, and it's still so very close. You know he's going to come back ready to play in the second half. We'll see if they can take the lead here. Thanks, Bill. Both teams have taken the floor. It's time for the second half.
Smith throws it in to start the third. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Hawks. He told me that despite their lead, he thinks they can play even better. He added that he wants his team to pick up the energy and told me that if they don't, this game could take a, quote, turn for the worse in a hurry. Should prove to be an interesting second half. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Michelle. Count it. NBA action can be so quick, it's a good thing we've got the replay ready for you. The Hawks work it up court and they're in front, 23 to 21. Passes to Harrington. Pass to Walker, one on one. From 20 feet out, bounces it off left rim and in. Terrific job to set up the J off the dribble. They bring it up court, coming up in the four minute mark here in the third. Dishes to the middle with the hook shot. Walker gathers up the rebound, but that's only his first of the game. That's the job. Dunks it. Ford brings it up court, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. Bounce pass to Van Horn. to Red. Passes to Kukoc. Off the hop step. Lays it right in. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Hawks work it up court and we have a four-point game. The pass to Harrington. The handoff to Walker with the crossover. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Ten points by the power forward out of Kentucky. I wouldn't say he's quite automatic from that range, but if he gets a little room, he can definitely drain it. They bring it up court. 2.52 left in the third quarter. To Kukoc. The skip pass to Red. Backs in. Shoots with the clock winding down. That's the seventh rebound by Dropian. Pass to Harrington. Passes to Walker. Crosses it over. Releases. Automatic. Definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. Inbound pass to Ford. Ford works it up court. He's got four assists. Swings it to Red. The trade. The defensive rebound by Harrington. Michael Red came up empty there. The defense did a very nice job at contesting the shot, made it extremely difficult for him. The pass to Harrington. Walker can't extend the lead to double digits. Dishes inside. Takes it in. Lays it right in. I want it. I got it. Pass to Harrington. To Jow. The pass to Delk. Five on the shot clock. Puts up the tray. Hauled down inside by Van Horn. Tony Dell can hit from out there on occasion, but he needs to get more open than that. Skips it to Van Horn. Tries to post him up. From the wing. It falls. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening, and he took it in to score the basket. The Hawks work it up court, and they're up by four. Pass to Harrington. Passes to Walker. Backs in. 
Myers, top of the key. Ripped down from the stratosphere by Smith. They can go two for one if they hurry, Fitz. Eight second differential between the shot and game clock. To Red. The close range leaner. Hits the left rim and out. Swings it to Jow. Bounces it to Harrington. We're at the end of the third quarter with a score 31 to 27. Walker throws it in to start the fourth quarter. The pass to Harrington. Hump fakes from the stripe. It's good. Pass to Van Horn. Passes to Red. Dumps it off. Tries to back him in. For three. Cans the shot. Pass to Jow. The pass to Walker. Let's it go from the left block. Smith snatches the inside rebound. Antoine Walker fired up a prayer. You knew the moment he released it, it had no chance whatsoever. Here comes the double team. The Hawks control the tip. Harrington heads up court. He's got nine points. Pass to Harrington. Floats it up. Connects. Definitely some new play worthy material on this one, Fitz. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. Inbound pass to Ford. The Bucks work it up court. They're shooting 66% from beyond the arc. Feeds it down low. Shoots. Misses the low percentage shot. It all comes down to who wants those rebounds more, and he's proving just how hungry he is with all these boards. To Harrington, with the crossover. Fires from 14, swishes it through. The Bucks advance, it's still lots of time remaining. Passes to Van Horn. Pass to Red. Who coach? Nice board by the four-year man out of Yugoslavia. To the rack. Graceful finish. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense stick. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. They bring it up court. 238 left in the game. It's picked off by Del. Del commits the charge, and that's his first foul. The Bucks bring it up court. They're shooting 46% from the floor. Feeds it to Red. Jams it home. That's how you rise up and throw it down. You can't get more high percentage than that. Bring it up court, and they're leading 39 to 32. Pass to Harrington. Passes to Jow. Pulls up. Rebounded by Red. Tony Dell needs a little more space to hit that jumper reliably. Obviously, the defender had other plans. Raises up. Nails it. 
The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. They bring it up court. 148 left in the four to Harrington. Swings it to Walker. Skip pass to Delk. Seven on the shot clock. Feeds it to the middle. Shoots with the clock winding down. Graceful finish. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The Bucks bring it up court, and they're trailing 41 to 34. Dumps it to the middle. Van Horn. Van Horn scoops up his fourth rebound so far. Blows the layup. It's one on one. The pass to Jow. Skips it to Harrington. Pass to Walker. Off balance shot. Got it. And they're up by nine. Antoine Walker can really fill it up offensively. It's a good idea for them to get him the ball a lot more. The pass to Van Horn. Who coach will head to the bench. Jow works it up court, and with a bucket here, can get his 10th point of the game. He can't sink the free throw. He misses them both. Van Horn snaps the rebound. Pass to Mason. Bounces it to Ford. Passes back to Mason. Good. This one looks even better the second time, Fitz. Nice play to get to the bucket. The Hawks advance it, and they're looking to put the nail in the coffin here. And it's good. Them both. Inbound pass. The Bucks advance it, but I think they're running out of chances right now. He shoots from the post. Missed. And they're still behind by seven. Sinks the first of two. He gets them both. The Bucks advance it, and they're trailing by nine. Passes to Van Horn. Harrington hauled down his third rebound so far. He can't get the first. He misses them both. Van Horn grabbed the rock inside. Gives the up pick for three. Yes, by Van Horn. Doesn't get the full court heave to fall. There's the horn, and that's the end of the game. The Hawks defeat the Bucks, 47 to 41. It was a hard-fought game, Bill. You can say that again. The Hawks won this game in large part because of their dominance down low. If you look at the difference in points in the paint, it jumps right out at you. They played stifling defense in the middle, and on the other end, they pounded the ball inside with repeated success. All right, Bill, and now let's take a quick look at our player of the game. Walker was in top form. He finishes with 16 points, and he's our ESPN player of the game. Well, time for us to say goodbye. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, and me, Bob Fitzgerald, 
Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on ESPN.